Do you find that your voice sounds a little nasally when you sing? And do you want to know why and what you can do about it? Just watch this video. Dare to climb boldly, brave that I peak. You'll never know failure if bravely you see. Hello and welcome to Vocal Bliss. This is Ramesha. Today we're going to talk about nasal sound and singing with a slightly nasal voice. Um, first of all, I, I want to say that we're just assuming here that there is nothing um, wrong with you know your voice, your vocal cords, no polyps in your nose or you know because there are also issues like that that can cause uh, nasal sound in your voice but we're just assuming that there's none of those so if you are not sure just go see a physician and make sure that those things are not there <clears throat> but what we're talking about here is sounding nasal due to uh, incorrect way of using your voice so a nasal sound happens when you sing a note and the soft palate which is that area in your mouth that is attached to the uvula that little thing that is hanging from the roof of your mouth so if, if you don't know what I'm talking about you can go to a mirror and open your mouth and look inside and you'll see that little thing hanging that's the uvula the uvula is attached to what is called the soft palate now when we produce a sound a normal sound that is not nasal what happens is automatically the muscles in the soft palate get a little tense and so the soft palate lifts up and so the sound that comes up from the vocal cords doesn't go into the, nas the nasal passages and instead it comes out more through your mouth well it doesn't go, it's not true that it doesn't go at all, but it mainly comes out through your mouth. Now, if that soft palate stays too relaxed for whatever reason, if it's too relaxed, then the sound becomes nasal. So here's what I mean. When it's normal, it's like this. Uh, when it's too relaxed, it's like this. Uh, you see, the, the soft palate comes down, it's too relaxed, so more of the sound that comes from the vocal cords travels up into the nasal passages. So the soft palate is like a little barrier that um, automatically is raised so that the sound doesn't go into your nose and instead it comes out through your mouth. Now mind you, for good singing, actually a little bit of nasal resonance is actually necessary uh, but it doesn't sound nasal it just makes the sound richer why because when the sound travels up into the nasal passages it goes into your sinuses and the sinuses act as natural sounding board especially when you sing in the upper range so that's actually an important thing however when you study singing you basically learn the correct ratio or the co correct balance between uh, resonance just through your mouth and resonance also going to your nasal passages and making the sound a little richer so this this is a little hard to explain because you can't really see what I'm talking about but if you look at any anatomy drawing you know of the skull and you will see that you will see the tongue, you will see the uvula hanging from the roof of your mouth and you will clearly see that there's two possibilities for the air to go either through the mouth or up into your nose and there's like a little, I don't know, it's like a, a crossroad that you get to and the, the air can go either way. Now if you have issues with a nasal sound one of the best things that you can do is emphasize clear spoken enunciation. I would not worry too much about singing for now. I would just uh, enunciate some vowels and make 
sure that they are absolutely full. So because your tendency is to go, uh, so what you need to do is instead, ah, uh, ah, uh, and almost emphasize that when you do it, you can feel and you can even look in the mirror with your mouth open, you will see that the roof of your mouth, instead of being like this, it's like this because it gets tense and so that tension closes the nasal passages because it lifts up the uh, soft palate to close the nasal passages completely so that the air can flow only through your mouth and I suggest you do this and you can even hold the tone a little bit so ah uh, ah uh, just like when you go to the dentist and it asks you to say ah you know and that's what you do ah ah and you emphasize that sound even if it's a little harsh but it's just a corrective so you would you will need to do this for a while until those muscles in the soft palate are uh, a little stronger and they're able to actually do the work of closing the nasal passages uh, after a while when you've gotten used to it and uh, I suggest actually you do on all the vowels so just go e, e, a, and really like oh, very deliberately enunciate clearly each vowel like that and then hold, hold also the tone for a little while oh I forgot Ooh, so we got all of them and then hold it a little while so that the sound can be there and like I said this will sound a little harsh it's not really a pretty sound but it's it's just meant to correct the tendency to let your soft palate be too relaxed once you've done this for a little while then try to sing again and maybe record yourself because sometimes it's hard to be completely objective when it comes to us singing in the moment as as we are singing so then um, record yourself and listen back and see if that nasal quality in your voice is still there if it is continue working this way after a while though when the nasal sound has disappeared you might want to work a little bit on relaxing that soft palate a little bit more because what you want is a sound that is not ah uh, it's not very pretty you want ah uh, and that comes from partially relaxing the soft palate and allowing some only some of those uh, of the sound to travel up into the nasal passages but it like I said in the beginning it has to be the right uh, balance and the right ratio and that comes with practice but first of all we have to get away from sounding nasal so I really suggest doing that exercise even if it sounds really bad a little bit like ah you know like that but really emphasize that uh, strengthening of those uh, muscles in your soft palate and then gradually the, um, the sound will get better and you will uh, you know the nasalness I don't know if that's a word, but the nasal quality will completely go away and then you'll notice an improvement that way. Okay, I hope this helped. Uh, sometimes these um, anatomical things are a little hard to explain because you can't really see, but you can very easily go online and look for uh, a scheme or a drawing of your mouth and your throat and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. It's very clear. Uh, find one that has like a uh, a view from the sides so like a section of your skull and you'll see exactly what I taught what I told you in this video so I hope you found this helpful if you did please consider giving this video a thumbs up and also make sure you subscribe to my channel and ring the bell so you get notifications for future videos okay Bye. When others despair, be strong.